Exactly how durable is Nokia's latest flagship? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our durability report of the Nokia Lumia 1020. The Nokia Lumia 1020 launched here in the US on AT&T towards the end of July, and ever since I've been carrying the 1020 as one of my personal devices nearly every day. Like several of my colleagues here at Pocket Now, I'm also not a fan of cases on my phones. They come at the expense of beauty, thinness, and detract from how the engineers and designers intended for the phone to look and feel in the hand. I've treated the 1020 just as I treat any other phone, a review loaner or a phone that I shell out my hard-earned cash for. Generally, this means I'm pretty gentle and don't toss or drop phones on tables. Instead, I gently place phones on surfaces as to not unnecessarily scratch or scuff them, but I don't go out of my way or do anything special to make sure they don't get damaged. The Lumia 1020 has been dropped in my pant pockets with keys, and I put it in a work bag with other tablets, phones, cables, and other miscellaneous items that could very well damage it almost every day. So let's take a look at how the Lumia 1020 has held up for me in the last two months. I want to start by saying that I installed a screen protector on my Lumia 1020 a few weeks back. This is something I don't normally do. I've carried dozens of phones for months on end without too much trouble with scratches on the display. However, the Lumia 1020, which comes with the extremely durable Gorilla Glass 3, scratched on day one. In fact, between buying the phone at AT&T and shooting the new Nexus 7 unboxing at my office, the glass on the front had half a dozen micro scratches on it. From that point until I installed the screen protector, I didn't notice a single additional scratch on the glass. Figure that one out. But the condition of the screen protector before I took it off today should be telling of our lack of caution with this device, as the protector itself has taken quite the beating in just a few weeks. Ironically enough, the glass wasn't what we were most concerned with when buying this phone. We figured the giant abscess around back would be an issue. Like most metal phones before it, we imagined it would become scuffed and reveal unpainted metallic silver beneath, especially since the back of the phone rests on the corner of the camera hump and doesn't even rest flat on any surface. But we're happy to report that the camera hump is almost as good as new. There are small signs of wear, where the very corner of the hump appears smoother than the rest, as if it's been polished but there are no noticeable blemishes whatsoever. And the rest of the body is much of the same story. It's practically blemish free. There are only four points that show any sign of wear and tear, and they're so small we nearly overlook them all when searching for damage. Three of the four points are tiny dings all along corners, likely from hitting a tabletop too hard. One is almost exactly in the middle of the top edge on the back side. Another is on the top right corner and is a very tiny indentation. And the final ding is on the bottom left corner on the back side. They're all so small you have to be looking for them and nearly have to squint to see them. The fourth blemish is where on the bottom corner of the volume rocker, where the bare metal is beginning to show. Again, it's so small it's barely discernible. Being a matte finished plastic, the tough plastic which has proven itself durable and resilient time and time again, we never worried too much about how this phone would stand the test of time, but we were surprised at how easily the glass scratched. Like Michael noted in his durability report for the 920, these are likely scratches on the oleophobic coating instead of the actual glass. Either way, we're pleasantly surprised with the resilience of the 1020 and how well it's held up over the last two months. That's all we have time for, so if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to let us know by clicking the thumbs up button below and drop us a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this one in the future, and follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.